A developing story at six, a drug raid on a Brooklyn maraschino cherry warehouse. CBS 2's Weijia Chang joining us live from Red Hook. Weijia, what happened? Uh no, to Dana, tonight the owner of Dell's Maraschino Cherries, which is a longtime Brooklyn-based company, is dead after the raid on his warehouse right behind me took an unexpected turn. And there are still several agencies here. A criminal investigation by the NYPD and Brooklyn DA is going on, but there's also an environmental investigation. In fact, that's what brought everyone here in the first place this morning. State and city environmental conservation and protection officials were looking at whether the company was illegally dumping potentially hazardous material and chemicals they used to preserve those cherries into the sewer system. We saw lots of crews here looking underground, so that's why they were here. And sources say the owner, 57-year-old Arthur Mandela, was cooperating. But then investigators started smelling marijuana somewhere in the building, and they asked about it. And that's when sources say Mandela asked to go to the bathroom. He went alone, and he walked into an office, and then he shot shouted out to his sister, who was also there at the time, take care of my kids. And then investigators say there was a single gunshot wound that was self-inflicted. Um, Mandela was, uh, uh, was dead. Neighbors here say they can't believe this because they thought this was just a normal family business. It doesn't make sense that it would be a front. Uh, I mean, they're a legitimate business that have been around for a long time. Just a normal business operating, you know, lots of uh, forklifts, moving things in and out, nice people. In fact, the website says Dells has been here for 67 years, a company based on family values and traditions. Still so many unanswered questions here, Dana, about what uh, was inside and just how much marijuana was found. For now, we are live in Red Hook. Weijia Jang, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Weijia.